Mistech. Now, there are these strange alien artifacts called Mistech, and nobody really knows what they're used for or where they came from, so should he sell it? Or uh, should he keep it? I'm going to tell him to hold on to it. It might be worth something someday. Yeah, what am I thinking? Thanks for the advice, man. Let me see if I can select this. No. Let's talk to her. Hey, Booter. Caught your swan dive earlier. Pretty sweet, dude. Yeah, thanks. You like that? I've been practicing all week. Hey, you still looking for work? My friend Deanimo has been exploring the tunnels for some guy. Maybe they need an extra hand. She's slumming at Frank's flop house if you're interested. Thanks, babe. You're a peach. All for you, Booter. So as you can probably tell, there's real uh, film noir type atmosphere to this, you know, in the dialogue and whatnot. Let's talk to this guy. This is Braz Tunkle. I'm nervous, Sly. Dead is sending people to the tunnels behind the tenements to excavate Mistech. Problem is, everyone's coming out of there, minus their limbs. I don't want to fight cave monsters, and I certainly don't want to work for Detta, but a man's got to eat, right? Did I ever tell you I'm afraid of the dark? Yeah, what happens is you get through people's dialogue tr tree, if there is a tree at all, and then they kind of repeat everything over and over again, and that's that. Let's see if she's got anything else to say. Tell the animal I'm looking for her when you find her. So, so far we've heard two references to these tunnels. And uh, her friend is supposedly helping some guy look for stuff down there. Let's talk to Rowdy. This is Rowdy right here. You're just in a slump. We all go through them. I mean, not as long as you have, but we all go through them. Come on, come on. You walked away from me. Tried to talk to you. What a wonderfully painful spill you took there. It's a shame your neck didn't snap on impact. I delight in the sound. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you the secret to successful fighting. Uh, yeah right, buy your own drink, Chachi. Your loss. I don't think you would tell us anything useful. We have to learn how to fight on our own. Don't feel far sorry for yourself, man. You're making me sick. Hit the brick sly. You got business to take care of. Alright. Let's go explore here. Who's this? Hey, Boots, there's glass in your hair. I know, it's all the rage on Cortica. All of the elements are falling into place. In a few weeks, we'll hit Detta's fortress. I'd ask you to join us if I thought you'd say yes. So, uh, kind of a rebellion under, under planning here. Eurocans disappeared. Is that, yeah, Verocans disappeared, and he's got the blueprints. Where is that boy? Nox guards raided the compounds of the top three crime lords in the bricks last night. Guess Detta's got the house to himself now. In case you can't tell, Detta is the guy that Boots owes money to, and sounds like we don't want to piss him off. The three crime lords are in detention awaiting trial. They'll all be dead within the week. It's just a matter of time before we topple Detta. We're just weeks away from something big. The resistance could use you. Too bad you're... You. Not a lot of respect for uh, Boots here. Let's keep going. Storage. Remember my office is a storage room and a cheap bar. Let's go in here. Look for stuff. Oh, this looks interesting. What is that? PAL 18's been out of commission all year. Size B batteries are scarce around the bricks. Otherwise I would have juiced them up as soon as I could. Poor little guy. We had some good times. Man, I've modified the hell out of Pal over the years. Bet Cortecom never thought someone could trick out their toys with data port accessories and battle claws. Sounds like he's going to be useful traveling with us later. I miss you, little hot rod. Sniff. Alright, moving along. What is that? Is that a picture? Here's a camera. Ah, my old camera. 
I'm taking some doozies with this. Press F11 to use the camera. We're gonna use the camera for some quests. My old intercom. Heh. Don't need it now that you're in my life cursor, Fatima. Life cursor is the thing that I'm moving around the screen. Man, I gotta clean up sometime. Alright, here is a locked door, I think. Lost the key to the back room a long time ago. Bet I can pick the lock. Okay, let's learn how to pick locks here. What you do is you, uh... I can't remember exactly how this works. Okay, so you, uh... You have a number here, and then this slider over here tells you how close you are to the actual number, so we start off with two. And that's the lockpicking minigame. There are a lot of minigames in Anachronox, and uh, you'll see other characters, and each character has their own minigame. Sly, Boots, picks, uh, he picks locks. That's his minigame. Hey, all that money f that fell out of my pockets when, uh, yeah. Found some dough. Uh, the dough in this game the uh, universal currency in the universe or galaxy is the Canadian dollar. Yeah, that's uh, the example of the kind of quirky humor in this game. Can we open this? Now let's see if we can pick this. I notice how there's only 10 seconds here and there's six tumblers. We can't, uh, we can't pick this lock yet. We're not going to be able to pick that lock for a long time. Yeah, this is very, uh, I don't know, the humor in this game, I guess the closest thing I can come up with it is maybe the Doctor Who series right now on BBC. It kind of has a lot of that same, same humor, same style of humor. All right, let's leave the bar. Got what we need. Got dough, we got some money. Oh, we, we can change the music here, I think. Let me see if I can find where to do that. There's a part where you can put on music. Here we go. I don't know how well you can hear that in the video right now. This is a time minder. This is basically a save point. So save universe. Let's go. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, Boots, are you okay, man? I didn't see what happened, but I heard the crash. You're resilient, man. This job's boring, so I've been taking up drawing, you know? Mostly just doodles on the back of these concert flyers. It's gonna show us our drawing. Wanna see a little picture I drew? Yeah, that's his, uh, that's his drawing. He's not very good. I'm not very good. Uh... We're going to come back to him later, possibly. Okay. We're going into the bricks. Hmm. Who's this guy? You there. You're friends with Rowdy. Why does he discriminate against floaters? I only wanted something to drink in an interesting conversation. We, Awa, are an intelligent, well-spoken race. My cousin, K. Conrad, is the master and foreman of the bricks. You should look him up. He likes to hang out at the Fountain Overlook. In exchange, maybe you can talk to Rowdy about letting me drink in the bar. People look surprised when they hear an Awa talk so eloquently, but our vocal cords are the most versatile in the galaxy. An Awa can perform perfectly mimic the voice articulation of any species, well, except the Fluvimi oysterfish of Tentax X. 